Hello and welcome back to the last day of our SI Joint and Sciatica Challenge. Nice to see you again. Today I will show you all the exercises of the last days, summarized in a routine, in a sequence. And today we'll see the overall result. You had a training goal and we will check exactly how far you have come. And we'll keep it short, we still have a lot to do. It's about to start. Hi Tabitha. Hi. We start right away with the first exercise. Now we will practice on your affected side because we only do one side in the routine. Also choose your side and let's start with our position. Please arrange yourself nicely from right to left. Get into position, bring the knee far down, draw in the navel, keep your back straight and gradually come forward with the torso. and the stretching on the right gluteus for you now on the left perhaps. If you practice on the left, initiate the stretch and continue to breathe in deeper. Keep going further in, increase a little while exhaling. At the same time, also press down the right knee a little. Feel in and maybe consciously let go. Maybe you have already gained a bit more body awareness for this area over the days. Try to release directly where the tension is located. And a little bit of strength training, please. Right knee wants to go up, torso wants to go back, relax and continue forward. Always make sure that the back does not bend, nor the torso should bend, but the belly button wants to move forward. Above the navel is not of interest, the abdomen wants to move forward. And again, right knee wants to come up, trunk wants to move backwards and relax, and continue to move forward, move forward, move forward. Tighten again, relax, go further in and slowly out, slowly out and compare the position you just had with the position at the beginning of the challenge. That should have changed. You can see the difference from the beginning, maybe even have a photo taken of yourself so that you can document your improvement and write us a comment. Can you actually put photos in there? No, it's not possible in YouTube. Unfortunately, no, I just found out it's not possible. Now 90 degrees in the right knee, the left leg goes back. Attention, keep 90 degrees and press up with the right hand nice and upright. And also here, compare, does it feel easier for you? Do you have a different angle? Do you have a different body sensation with it? So look, I'm much better. I can even put my foot back there. That's amazing. Very cool. You can put your foot down. Yes, I think that's really good now. So that really hurt me at the beginning of the week. She has a sense of achievement. I hope you have one too. I am really happy right now. I felt so clumsy before, but it is now significantly better. It can't get any better. It can't get any better. You didn't expect that, did you? No, actually not at all. It's almost as good as on the other side, so I don't want to stick my neck out too far now. Keep talking, keep talking. Wow. Keep pushing further to the left, press upright, and now, attention, strength training begins. Right foot pressing downward, left knee pressing towards the ground. Keep it loose, go further into the stretch. And again, press, 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 release, further into the stretch. And again, build up pressure, build up pressure, build up pressure, release, further into the stretch. Breathe beautifully deep in, deep out.
Build up pressure again, release gently, go further into the stretch and slowly come out. Slowly get up and go straight into the crawling position. And now please briefly round the back. Bring the lower back up, bring one leg and the other back and let the groins hang forward. And whoever wants to practice the right side sticks out the left knee and vice versa and let it hang. And remember, you have probably already done it. If you cannot hold yourself with your arms there, then go to a couch and place your forearms on the couch. And let yourself hang more and more. Keep going. It pulls on the right groin. It can also pull in the right abdominal area, upper front part of the thigh, it can pull in the hip joint and up into the back. I just wanted to say I have a pain in my back. A few days ago you just pulled your back, right? Yes, it still hurts a little bit actually, but not as much anymore. Okay, keep breathing in deeply. And now the right knee starts and presses against the ground. Right knee presses against the ground. Loosen up, right groin slightly lower. Crazy, right? Always after the tension, you will notice it at home for sure. After the tension, it always goes a little further. Therefore, this is a stretching accelerator. And at the same time, there is strength training. I'm totally into it, as you can tell. Yes, press the right, the right knee into the ground, relax, press in again, relax, continue, press into the ground, relax, press a little further in. Let it come a little more, in the sense of yielding and slowly coming out again and making a short compensatory movement, short compensatory movement and coming back up again. So, now take your ball, take your ball, Whatever you used instead of the sacroiliac joint and sciatic nerve hero, lie on your back and we will go through a few points. Position your legs so that you can reach the spots well. The left leg is suitable for tilting the hip practically to the right and to the left laterally so that you can easily reach those spots. And we let all of that relax a little, breathing in nicely in the process. And you notice it decreases, it diminishes in intensity, then find another spot or also change the attachment at home if you notice you need a different ball. A different diameter of the ball you are using, whatever it may be, then change that now in this phase and keep breathing deep and nicely. I will make it more superficial now, or rather take out that part, then I am not quite so far up and can better lay myself down here below at the same time.
The lateral areas of the buttocks, they're also very, very grateful. There's a lot there that's screaming to be toned down. I also notice it right next to the coccyx in the muscle. And then slowly down again and we do our final exercise with the roll or with the bottle. We first go straight and slowly over the buttocks. Then go down when you notice that it is more favorable. When the abdominal tension becomes too strong? Yes. I have to adjust the transmitter here a bit so that it doesn't interfere. We need it so that you understand us loud and clear. Okay, then down again and now comes the 45 degree angle. So we go back on it with the coccyx, on the bottle, on the roll, and get in diagonally so that we can wonderfully relieve the pressure there from sciatica. Little by little, very enjoyably. And always imagine how the interstitial fluid is pushed through these tiniest gaps and new fresh water follows, transporting nutrients to the cells and your entire sciatic area, which may have been under tension for who knows how long. I always have this image in my head that there is a tangled plant pond where all the dirt has hooked on and now we are going to loosen it all and go at it from the side again. This is now the final rolling, so to speak. Beautiful from the side again. The femur must be the starting point, right? Yes. Okay. And into this fossa. But if you would like to include this fascia rolling in your program, then I would recommend you schedule it for the evening. Then you don't take away any time of day, and in the evening, every TV show becomes more amusing if you are rolling yourself while watching it. And also go back to the iliac crest, to the iliac crest, and we made it. We did it. Yes, great that you were there the whole week. I really hope that you win one of these prizes for sure. Tabita, how was it for you because you were personally affected? Yeah, so for me, it was really unexpected. It made such a difference from the beginning to the end. By the way, this is the case for many people. Many people hear about the exercises, that they work and so on, but experiencing it yourself is something completely different. And I am really happy if you have experienced that. Therefore, please also write a comment. Tell the others how was it for you. Also describe how your positions have improved. And don't think that was the end after the challenge. No, one must stick to it. After the challenge, yes. You should continue doing the routine. That was about 15 minutes long. Do it over and over again and always check how are you. And then please also write under this last video your assessment of how things are progressing, what difficulties you had before, how it feels now, and so on.
Exactly, and also all the tools you just saw in our routine, the SI joint hero, fascia rollers, and also the exercise loops you saw at the very beginning, are available in a complete package in our shop. The, the sciatica hero package has a discount in our shop. Take a look. And not only with sciatica pain, but also with many other complaints, it is important to do things regularly. And because the regular effort to do something daily or almost daily is so incredibly difficult, that's why I developed the Liebsche Bracht app. You get a new video every day of the year, which motivates you to participate for just seven minutes. You can't do anything else, you have to participate. If you want to take a look in there and see what I would like to recommend to you, please click here and down there you will get a playlist of challenges we have done from neck, knee, back and so on. Take a look at this, it's fun. I am glad that you were there. Tabita, thank you very much for doing this with me. Goodbye until the next video. Goodbye.